Recently, we celebrated the dedication and heroism of America's veterans. Now we're going to take a look at a little-known veteran, an unlikely sort, a coyote named Jeep. Jeep was two weeks old when he was adopted by Lieutenant Bill Crump of the United States Army Air Forces. Bill took Jeep with him to Baton Rouge to train on the massive Republic P-47 Thunderbolt. The P-47 was a beast of an aircraft powered by a 2200 horsepower Pratt & Whitney radial engine driving an eight-foot propeller and armed with up to eight 50 caliber machine guns in addition to bombs, rockets, and extra fuel tanks. The P-47 was an ace maker and included such noteworthies as Hub Zemke, Gabby Gabreski, and Don Blakesley. Jeep was smuggled aboard the troop transport, the Queen Elizabeth, otherwise known as the Grey Lady, and taken to the UK, where he stayed with Bill Crump in a stone cottage. The stone cottage was quite drafty and cold on some nights, and as Bill said, he sometimes needed a second coyote to keep warm. The Jeep was also taken to a local school where he would howl for the children. And, of course, Jeep flew on both the Razorback and Bubble Top variations of the P-47D Thunderbolt. He only flew on missions that were under 10,000 feet, as those above 10,000 feet would suffer apoxia and perish. There were no oxygen masks to fit the coyote, so he would stay behind on those high-altitude missions. And that proved to be his undoing as Jeep got loose on the base one day and was flattened by, ironically, his own namesake. He was laid to rest with full military honors, including a 21-gun salute and a missing man formation of P-47s. And that's history that deserves to be remembered. <laughs>